YouTube Yo Gang, welcome back to the channel. So today we are having another 2023 gun collection video, but this collection is only going to consist of my IWIs. So we have a few different calibers. We have nine millimeters, we have 762 by 39, 762 by 51, 308, and I thought I should share them with you. So up first, we are going to talk about the Masada Slim. Now, I was very interested in this Masada Slim when uh, Sid came out with the macro and I wanted to compare and see how they compared against each other and exactly how I felt about the Masada Slim. And when I got the Masada Slim, everybody was like, yo, you gotta check out the Masada full size, you gotta check it out, gotta check it out. So, um, of course, you know, we did. So the Masada Slim, I was not 100% satisfied with the shoot. In my opinion, it is quite snappy. Um, it's not one that I would go to off rip, um, but because it does have such a nice slim feel, uh, depending on what it was that I was wearing and um, the closest <laughs> that I can grab and go, um, I would take it out with me. Um, it runs, I had no issues, no um, misfeeds, no no problems. It ran everything that I put through it. So the quality of the pistol is very nice. There's just some things, um, in my opinion, that could have been worked on just a little bit more with a pistol of this size, um, which is that uh, the recoil system. For me, it is just too snappy, but it feels absolutely great in the hands. So, you know, they get a, an A, for um for that um but as far as this masada slim goes this is my first <laughs> iwi that we're talking about the masada slim chambered in nine millimeter let's put that there moving right along and up next because y'all bullied me into getting <laughs> the Masada full size because y'all said I was going to enjoy this so much more and I had to do it. So we went out and we got the Masada full size. Now, it is clear, also chambered in nine millimeter. Now I can give them kudos on this. Now, as far as the color goes, I would have gotten it in all black. I'm not a big uh, color pistol person. Um, because they get so dirty, if you see here, I mean, it's no matter how much or how hard you try to keep them clean, it's just not happening. But it is an absolute fantastic shoot. I really enjoyed it. The pistol feels really nice in the hand. It's light. Uh, also chambered in 9mm. Although we have these just white out front and rear sights, it's not... A make or break it kind of puts me in the, the mind of the Smith & Wesson uh, signature white sights but it feels good serrations in the slide you have front and rear serrations and it shot very very nice so this is the Masada full size by IWI Let's put that there. Now, up next, we are going to talk about one of my Galils. Now, I do know I have one that is a Gen 1 and another one is a Gen 2, but I'm not sure. I cannot, I don't remember which one of the two. They look so much alike and um, they share a lot of the same characteristics. The rifle is clear. So this is my Galil Ace SAR chambered in 7.62 by 39. What a wonderful shoot. The iron sights on it is absolutely great. The handguard, as you know, I really appreciate the handguard. It absorbs so much of the heat very, very well. The sights are great. Now, I do enjoy the front post sight. The rear sight has the adjustable uh, back rear sight for distances. I'm not too fond of it but i understand the reasoning for it of course so that you can get your shorter distances and longer distances uh, when you are shooting this but regardless 
how far you're taking it or how close up you are it is a great shoot absolutely great shoot now if you know or if you see any characteristics on this that can point out to you whether this is the gen 1 or the gen 2 but if i'm not mistaken i really want to believe that this is the gen 1 let me know drop it in the comments and let me know how you figured it out okay i've got so many i there's just too many to keep up with at this point but this is my Galil Ace chambered in 762 by 39. Let's put that there. Make a little bit more room here. All right. Now up next. We are going to talk about this Galil Ace chambered in. This is actually in 308 so it's 762 by 51 i love love this pistol so much let's do a quick clear check mag release is a little bit different it's actually released right here on the side based um a little different from uh the 762 over here it has more of the ak style mag release but this one here so a quick clear check she is clear it's chambered in 308. So, so much fun. When I tell you that this shoot is on another level, y'all know I love 308. I am a sucker for a 308. I love the 762s um, by 39 as well, but 308 is where it's at for me. I love it. And there she is. Now, another thing, let me know again if this is the actual uh gen one or gen two i know one of these are but let me know if you can uh figure that out for me all right so up next we have another galil this is my rifle and again absolute dream IWI does such a great job with their rifles. It's so another quick clear check. The rifle is clear and it is sexy. Super, super sexy. And I love it. Absolutely love this rifle. Uh, I wanted to do a comparison um, with this, but I was looking for the most compatible comparison so what can i compare this to in your opinion this is chambered in 762 by 39 in your opinion which one or what would be a great battle between these two rifles let me know drop it in the comment let's keep it fair let's make it you know more of the tactical version so the ones that's an ak that has not the standard wooden um not shouldn't say standard classic ak look where let's go for let's go for the full look the full um pick rail on the top your m lock space on the sides you know so that it can be a fair comparison um because i don't want nobody to get their panties in a bunch so let me know drop that in the comments what can i compare this to in your opinion and we will definitely get that on the channel a so this is my Galil Ace, also chambered in 762 by 39. And last, but not least, I have my Tavor Star 7 chambered in 308. Now, if you did not watch this video, make sure you go back and watch this. As you can see, the bolt is open and back. So the rifle is clear. Yes, she is. At first, bull pups was not on my radar at all. So it took me a while to get into that bull pup feel. And um, because uh, they're not the most attractive looking um, firearms. But <clears throat> for a person that's shorter, like me, I'm 5'3", and uh, they 
sit so perfectly into your body because everything is right here on the back side. So it's back heavy <laughs> and um, it shoots absolutely great. I know I did a comparison between the Springfield Hellion and um, the Tavor and everybody's saying, no, it's not, it's not fair, it's not fair because they're chambered in two different calibers. I understood that going into the video. It was more of the functions of the rifle. How well did one function over the other? Um, as far as weight goes, I understand that there is weight differences between the two, but in this case, it was a minor weight difference. So um, they both shot absolutely great. Um, I know I need to get a Tavor 95. I will get that and I will give y'all that more fair comparison between the Hellion and the Tavor 95. So as soon as I get my hands on one of those, we will be doing that as well. But as far as this goes, when I tell you a must have, definitely a must have. I have an EOTech on here. You can put whatever it is that you like. And um, y'all know that I'm not the tradition, the traditional anything that has to do with firearms. Um, and I feel like we can get a nice harvest with something like this. Um, because the 308 round, as we know, it's a heavy hitter and it travels a very long distance. And, you know, depending on what it is that you're, you're after or what it is that you're using will determine, you know, your distances and stuff. But in my opinion, I don't see why you can't um, bring home a nice whatever it is that you're hunting. So, ladies and gentlemen, my Tavor. Let me um, make some adjustments here before we lose some stuff. Okay, so starting from the top, we have our Masada Slim, chambered in 9mm. We have our Masada Full Size, also chambered in 9mm. We have our Galil Ace, chambered in 7.62x39. We have another Galil Ace, chambered in 308. We have a Galil Rifle, chambered in 7.62x39. And we have our Tavor, chambered in 308. What did y'all think? Colette, is, is, is it on point or am I missing anything? I think, you know, I think I am missing that Jericho. We are going to get the Jericho. I've been looking, they are not easy to come by. So as soon as I get my hands on the Jericho, we will definitely be adding that to this collection. And what else? What else do they have? Y'all know. I don't do much of um, online shopping because I want to have, you know, I want to be well educated on what it is that I'm purchasing, but I also want to have this, the experience that, um, you know, not the most experienced shooter or purchaser is going to have when they purchase these firearms or whenever, you know, they purchase something. So when my first impressions are, or when my first shot impressions are taken or made, it's really an honest first shot. And I was, I wanted to experience that with you. So um, when I do see it um, in the shop or whatever, you know, I try to purchase it and then, you know, read up on it and find out um, what is it, you know, the key factors of it. Cause y'all know y'all come here to just find out if it runs. We want to know the basics and yoke does it run. How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Okay, you like it. I like it too. Let me go get it. And I like that relationship that we have built with each other. So with that being said, let me know if there's anything else that you want to see that IWI makes. I will definitely get that to the channel for you and um, rate it. Drop them fires in the comments. Drop. Let me know what you think about it. <laughs> Yo gang, listen. If you have not yet checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do. Pick up a patch. Hopefully, these t-shirts will be going online by Friday. Hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all already know I love y'all for life. Peace.